fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tato, the mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, Big Silver. I am Silver. Oh! It was customary in the little cow town of Dixie in Arizona Territory to start celebrating ahead of time. The annual Dixie Rodeo wasn't scheduled to start until the following morning, but the cow pokes, horse wranglers, ranchers, and visitors were starting now. How are you gents betting on the contest tomorrow? Well, if it ain't Ace Dolan, the gambling man. You giving any odds, Ace? Maybe. Um, uh, which events? Well, sir, now that all depends. Got a program here. I'll read them all. Uh, let's see. Bronco busting, even money. Bulldogging, even money. Fancy roping, even money. And, uh... <laughs> even money. Ace Dolan, the big time tin horn. Now, wait, here's one. Team tie rope. Who do you like in that event? Well, who's contestant? Same as every other year. Stairs Brothers, Matt and Cal, against Bob Vane, that foreman of his, uh, Arky. Well, I suppose you call that a contest. Those Stairs critters might own the biggest ranch in the territory. But they haven't got a prayer when it comes to beating Bob Vane and Arky at team open. Sure. Everybody knows that. I'll give odds myself on that bet. Uh, eight to five? Ten to five, if you want it. Get your money down, Ace. I, uh, I'll cover it in the morning. Just line enough odds, that's all. I'll see you then. Well, uh... <laughs> Gambling man. Ace Dolan wouldn't bet that a Cayuse had four legs unless he counted them. Yeah. I see him heading over toward the Sterrett brothers. If they're smart, they'll offer the same odds. <laughs> Well, Ace, what'd you find out? Plenty of Bob Vane money around here. They're offering me ten to five. Good. You got the bankroll, Cal. Give him some money. Sure. Here's a thousand dollars, Ace. You want me to bet? Get all as many them? bets as you can. First, buy a bottle of whiskey and hunt up Arky Potter. He's Bob Vane's foreman. All right. One drink with Arky Potter means one drunk. Hey, man. Here comes Bob Vane, dancing with his sister. Ace, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get away, Ace. Keep out of sight. Sure. Evening, Bob. Evening, Miss Laura. Hello, Matt. Cal. Yeah. Hi. Cal and I have been hoping we'd see you folks here at the dance. That's so. Let's step out in the porch a minute. Lots cooler out there. All right with me. What do you say, Laura? Talking to the Starrett brothers isn't my idea of entertainment, but I guess there's no harm in it. <laughs> All rejoicing, ain't she? <laughs> What's on your mind, Matt? The 
bet and odds on our team roping contest tomorrow seem to be all in your favor. No reason why they shouldn't be. Aki and I are going to win. Like to bet some money on it? Sure, but... Well, we I haven't don't... any ready cash, and you know it better than anyone else, Matt Sterrett. You and your SS brand hogged all the winter range. We didn't ship a single steer. Well, it seems to me you can't be very sure of winning, or you'd bet on yourself. I haven't any cash to... All right, you big four-flusher. I've got ten carloads of steers down at the loading pens. Let the bank appraise them, and then you match it. That's how sure, sure I am. Let's see. Ten carloads of steers. Be somewhere around $25,000. Too rich for the stare at blood, huh? No. I'll take that bet. See you in the morning, just before the first event. Good. Come on, Cal. Bob, you shouldn't have done it. Those steers represent everything we own. And don't worry, Laura. Archie and I are a cinch to... Say, where is Archie? Have you seen him? Not since we rode in from the ranch. We'd better start looking. A lot depends on him staying sober. Come on. You know, Arky, the minute I saw you, I figured you were a real smart gent. That's why I wanted to have a drink with you. Yeah? Thanks. I better get back over there to the dance hall. My boss might be looking for me. Boss? Who's that? Bob Bain. Me and him are entered in a team roping contest tomorrow. Oh, better... what do you care? That's tomorrow. There's lots of time to land. Yeah, but I ain't supposed to Let's be over... have one more drink, and then we'll go back. Well, all right. Just one more. <laughs> Many miles to the east, just over the territorial border, the Lone Ranger and Toto were making camp. There was no sign of danger in the little canyon where they had stopped, so it was natural for them to remove their gun belts. It was a mistake they rarely made, a mistake they were soon to regret. Here's more wood for the fire, Toto. Ah, now it's burned good now. Let me fix supper. Fine. I'll take the horses down to the creek. You won't do anything, mister, but get your claws up. You too, Angel. Behind us, Toto. Ah. You heard me, go up. This 45 trigger's mighty easy. Do what he says, Toto. Our guns are over there on the other side of the fire. No, you don't. I've already spotted that hardware, and I'm kicking it out of reach. Now, turn around. Well, I'll be fast. So I stumbled on a couple of owls who... Maybe. I'm borrowing one of your horses. I think I'll take the paint. Just long enough to reach the railroad line south of here and grab onto one of those freight trains. I'll leave your horse ground hitched alongside the track. I believe that when I see it. And I'm taking these gun belts, too. I'll leave them in the saddlebag. Keep your hands up, Rock. <coughs> Steady, boy. Get it! Okay, Miss Hobby. Politics, come. Don't, don't worry, Toto. We can trail him easily on Silver. But him steal guns. How can we now, get we'll him? We'll handle that when we get... Wait a minute. Somebody coming from the east. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <coughs> Excuse me, Jens. I spotted your campfire, and I figured you might have seen... Mask. Outlaws. Uh, you're wrong there, but we may have seen what you're searching for. Yeah? Young fellow wearing a blue shirt, black Stetson, a pair That's of pants. Jim Austin. Been trailing the Jasper for six months. All the way from Montana. Is that a lawman's badge on your vest? Yeah, but you and your engine fire don't have to worry. I'm no bounty hunter. All I'm interested in is Jim Austin. He an outlaw? In a way, we've got a manslaughter charge against him up in Butte. Butte, Montana. You must be Tennessee Jones, the sheriff of Butte. How would you know? Well, I've heard of you. Well, Sheriff, the man you're trailing stopped here just a few minutes ago. He got the drop on us and stole my friend's horse. I figured he was afoot. Found his own coyotes going lame back trail a ways. Which way did he head? South. He said he wanted to reach the railroad line. That he was only borrowing the horse. Hmm. Like as not, he was telling the truth. Austin's an outlaw, but there ain't a man on two feet who thinks more of horses than he does. I'm glad to hear it. That's what makes him so easy to trail. I know he'll be around horses someplace. Right now, I'm interested in where he leaves a horse. Well, we're riding south. How about you, Sheriff? Uh, sure. Never heard of a masked owl who'd ride with the law, but come on. <laughs> Hey, big fella. Well, here's the railroad line. Uh, Kimosabe. Yes, scout. 
I believe it is, Tonto. Tied to that fence post. Ah, me get him. Jim Austin may be an outlaw, but he's not a liar. Yeah. If he'd be as honest about your shooting scrape up in Montana, I wouldn't be on his trail. Did he kill someone? Short a gambler he claimed was cheating him in a poker game. Tin Horn didn't die right then. Some friends took him to a hospital over in Billings. Next day, I got a letter saying he was dead. So the charge against Jim Austin was manslaughter. Did you arrest him? Yeah, he'd left town. I've been on his trail ever since. You see, well, I'll be... What's the matter? You see that handbill tacked on the fence post? All about the big Dixie rodeo over in Arizona Territory? Yes. Well, if this railroad runs through that town, I know where to find Jim Austin. He never passed up a rodeo in his life. Oh, Scott, oh, fella, oh, oh, fella. Here, here, gun belts, Kimosabe. Fella, leave him in saddlebag. Thanks, Tonto. Uh, Sheriff, I never heard of a real outlaw returning stolen guns. I'd like to talk to Jim Austin. Uh, you mind if Tonto and I ride with you? Suit yourself, stranger. Good. Come on, Silver. Get him up to the cow. Yeah. Almost noon of the following day when Bob Vane found his foreman back of the stock pens near the rodeo arena. Bob, did you find Arky? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Look at him, dead drunk. That's all I'll have left after I forfeit the bet I made with Matt Sterrett. Oh, Bob. Oh, I'd like to... Getting get... mad won't help. I'll go over to the cook tent and get some black coffee. Maybe that'll help Arky to straighten out. Hey, mister. Well, what do you want? I just drifting through town. I'm a good hand with horses. Thought maybe you no, might. I can't hire any horse wranglers or punches. I got enough to worry about now. All right, don't get tough about it. I was just trying to... What? One of the bulls broke out of the pen. He's heading across the lot. <coughs> Laura, she's right in front of him. She'll be killed. No, but... not if we can stop him. Here, give me that rope. <coughs> got him. Help me snuff this line before the critter drags me down to Texas. Yeah. Uh, there. Uh, you saved Laura's life. And got yourself that job you were asking for. Thanks, mister. But, Bob, what's his name? Who is he? Where'd he go? Wait a minute. One question at a time. I don't know who he is, and I don't care. He's faster than Greek's lightning with his loop. And he'll be back here at 2 o'clock to side me in the team roping contest. Back from where? Someplace to dig up a mask... He says the only way he can ride in public is with a mask over his face. Mask? Well, why would anyone want to Maybe wear a mask? he's ma dodging the law. What difference does it make? A lot. He saved my life. I want to thank you. Wait, Laura. You can't expect to find one cowpoke in all this crowd. I can try. Maybe we camp too close to town, Tonto. Like we're going to have a visitor. Ah. Whoa, whoa, boy, whoa. Oh, I, I see you found a mask to wear. Bob told me what you're going to do. Is that so? I think you're wonderful. Not only for what you did, but, but because you're going to help my brother in the roping contest. Am I? Oh, you, you're too modest. I, come here. Yes? There. Kiss isn't much, but I do want to thank you. Not that I object. It just happens that you're kissing the wrong man. Oh. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. While the Lone Ranger told a very embarrassed young lady that she had made a mistake, Tennessee Jones walked into the local sheriff's office. You the sheriff here in Dixie? That's right. What can I do for you? Just wanted to introduce myself. Name's Jones. Tennessee Jones. Sheriff of Butte, Montana. Here's my credential. Well, glad to know you, Tennessee. <laughs> you here for business or pleasure? Well, you might say both. I'd like to see your rodeo, and I'm trailing a critter named Jim Austin. Well, I'll take you to the rodeo as my guest. I got a box seat in the grandstand. But I never heard of that Austin, hombre. What does he look like? A little kind of tall, freckle-faced gent. I got a warrant for his arrest. A lot of people in town. He, he might be hard to find. Not if I can spot him straddling the bronc. I'd know Jim Austin's brand of riding anyway. Come on, we better head over for the big show. It's due to start right soon. Thanks, but... Uh, one more thing. Do you know an outlaw in these parts rides a white stallion, wears a black mask, and travels with a red skin? Never even heard of an hombre like that. What's his name? I don't know. Rode the trail with him all last night. I still don't know. Well, I'll be... You got a warrant for him, too? No. Just curious, that's all. <laughs> Mr. Zane, how's this? Does the mask look all right? Sure. Anything's all right with me, kid, as long as you can twirl that rope. And uh, cut out the mister stuff. My name's Bob. All right, Bob. Uh, how about the entry? I just told the entry clerk to call you the mask rider. He's got you chalked up as a bronc buster, and it's my partner in team roping. Hey, what's that? Grand well, entry parade. Steady, boy. We're supposed to be in it. Mount up. Get up. Get up. in the parade. What's up? Bob Bain's got another partner. He's going to contest in the team rope. Who'd he get? Some grub blind cowpoke? Oh, they were riding right behind you in the parade. Some sort of an hombre wearing a black mask. The entry clerk says that Bain just uh, listed his partner as the mask rider. <laughs> Somebody like that on the trail last night? I was just thinking the same thing. That hombre style of riding is awful familiar. Mighty familiar. It could be. By Juniper, it is. Is what? The gent I'm trailing. Jim Austin. Well, I'll be. Keep your eye on him. I'll hustle over to the judge's stand. No, wait, Sheriff. He's listed here on the program for one of the other events. I'll wait till it's over. Team roping. Whatever that means. Don't they have team roping contests up in Montana? I guess not. Or maybe I just never seen one. Well, keep your eyes open, partner. You've got a treat coming. That boy is a real bronco buster, Toto. Ah, uh, him plenty good. Let's move over closer to the chute. I want to see how Jim Austin and Laura's brother make out in the team roping contest. Ah. Uh. Ace, where's Ace? Right here, man. What do you want? Listen, I don't know who that masquerader is. Bob Bain must have run in a ring around us. If he swings a loop like he rides... I told you that the boy would... Shut up! Cal and I are on first in this contest. While we're out there, you stop Bain or that other critter. Stop him for good. So they'll have to forfeit all bets. 
Understand? Yeah, but how can well, I? Well, and his partner will saddle up an empty load and shoots on the other side of the arena. What do you mean, Cal? The gates on those chutes are mighty heavy. And they work with pulleys and ropes. I know, but if what... If the could... rope that holds the gate was cut real sudden-like, and somebody's walking in now to shoot, might be a bad accident. That's it. Get over there, Ace. Get to work. Now, listen, Matt, I... I don't you know better I want to do what I tell you. Otherwise, the law's going to hear all about a tin horn gambler who's supposed to no, be no, on no. the... Never mind, I'll do it. Get going. And now, ladies and gents, the team roping contest. The Sterrett Brothers against Bob Bain and the Masked Riders. <laughs> Swing the first loop. I will. Unless you... Oh, go ahead. I'd rather heal the critters anyway. Where's your horse? Over there in that empty loading chute. Better since your saddle and mount up. Stared boys are chalking up good time out there. You've got a lot to beat. We'll beat them. I'll get my bronze. Here like that. Take plenty good riders. Yes, it's... Ca- Watch out, Toto. The Austin's coming this way. His horse must be in that chute over there. I don't want him to see us. Kimasabi. What's wrong? Look. Fuller climb upside the corral. Him got knife. Cut rope on gate. It's hit Austin, Fuller. What we do? The man who cut the rope. He's getting away. Follow him, Toto. Uh, what happened? The chute gate. A poor old fella hit that. Kid. Knocked him over, then cut his legs. Help me raise it. We can get him out, all right? Man. Who are you? Never mind that. Hold the gate. Yeah. Oh, my leg. I think one of them is busted. There must be a doctor around here someplace. Get him. Sure, I'll find Dr. Jeff. Well, well, I'll be the mask, Jeff. Where'd you come from? Oh, I've been around. The Starrett brothers must have finished up. We're supposed to be out there, Bob. Sorry, I let you down at the last minute. That's all right, kid. Forget the contest. Sure, I can, but you've got everything you own bet on it. You and your sister will lose the ranch. Bob, and... what's wrong? My partner had an accident. I'll, uh, I'll take this young fellow's place. Starrett Brothers and the crowd will never know the difference. Well, well, sure. But can you team rope? I can try. Come on. And now, coming out from the other side of the arena, Bob Bane and the Masked Rider. All right, get your horse, Bob. Let's go. Steady, Silver. Come on, Silver. Get up. Loop him. I'll take the heels on this one. Good. I'll swing him over. What? Oh, who's on the back? Oh, who's oh, there? I've got the tie lines. There. That does it. I did. I heard somebody say he had a broken leg. I don't Bob see Bob Bain how... beats us, didn't he? Beat us to the tune of $25,000. Which he'll never get. What do you mean? Let's go over there. Keep your gun handy. I don't know what to say. How to thank you, Forget Bob. it, Bob. Well, Jim, I finally caught up with you. Tennessee Jones. I might have known it. Just a minute there, Bain. 
What kind of double dealer stunt are you trying to pull? Everybody said this kid broke his leg before he... Let go of my arm. No red skin can make me... Oh, come. So long. And what you do? Right. Well, it wasn't my idea. Matt Starr told me to go ahead... Shut up, you tin horn. Now I think I understand what's behind all of this. No, I'm not going to... Shut up or I'll drill you. Stop that gun. What the... Another hombre with a mask. I'll... Oh! Right through my arm. Sheriff, right over there is the man who cut the rope on that gate and made it fall on Jim Austin. Evidently, he was working with or for the Starrett brothers. Well, I'll be. You're under arrest, Matt. You too, Cal. That's uh, right. Nothing. It wasn't my fault that that happened. Just a minute. Ain't your name Ace Tolan? Why, I, yes. What of it? According to a report up in Butte, you're supposed to be dead. I've been trailing Jim Austin for manslaughter, and you're still alive. You're the hombre who's going back to Montana for a long stretch in jail. Well, Jim, Law and I've still got a ranch. We're twenty-five thousand dollars richer, thanks to you and that other man with a mask. He's the one who did it all. Law's arranged for you to stay here with us, at least until your leg heals up. And then I've been thinking. I need a good man to help me run the ranch. Why don't you take the job? Well, thanks, Bob. I'd sure like to do it. But maybe Laura might not... Where do you think you got the idea? Does a girl have to make all the arrangements? you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.